Hi, this is Daniel Schmon. When you check into TFS, do you always associate your check-ins with work items? You know, the benefit of this, of course, is being able to track your changes with the requests that initiated them. So, as you can see here, I've got a change, and TFS by default will happily let me check that in without associating it with any work item here, as you can see. But what you can do is, in both Visual Studio Online and TFS, you can set a policy to make sure that uh, it doesn't let you check in without associating it with a work item. So I'll show you how to do that now. In the Visual Studio client, what you, well, you'll have to use the client for this. Um, what we can do is select our team project, and I'll do that from the Team Explorer pane, selecting the drop down here, going to connect to team projects. And if your project doesn't appear here, what you can do is click the link, select team projects, and we've got our familiar dialog box for selecting a team project. Now here I have a few Visual Studio Online projects, also an on-premises TFS um, service. I'll click on this one here, select my project and click connect. And now what we need to do is click the drop down again and go to settings. And then under team projects we click source control. There is also a source control link under team project collection, and that's not the one we want. We want team project. Then we click on the check in policy tab, and here we go. I'll add a policy. I'll select the work item policy. Um, you can also do other things like enforcing code analysis would run before check in or enforcing comments, which is a good one. I recommend that as well. In this case, we'll just go with work items. Click OK. OK again. And now, if I flick back to my Pending Changes tab, there we go. Following check-in policies were not satisfied. You must associate this check-in with one or more work items. And that's all there is to it. Thanks.